Hi, welcome to my channel, Crafting a Country Life. I'm Andrea Marshall, and I'm coming on today to share um, a few things, actually. I worked on some Halloween cards this past week. I had a couple of days off. I'm um, an elementary school art teacher, so we had Monday and Tuesday of this past week off, so it gave me a little bit of time to work in my studio. And I wanted to share not only the cards that I created, but um, a random act of kindness from Nettie H. Creates on Instagram. Uh, I'm gonna share that with you. And I also have a very short haul that I wanted to share as well. So let's start with the cards. Um, I did three, three Halloween cards this past week. This is the first one. These are just four by four inch. I used some, uh, just some basic papers from my stash. And I used some felt uh, pumpkins that I had picked up at Dollar Tree. And I think these little bat sequins I had gotten at Joann's, I don't know, maybe last year or so. And these are just basic. This one here. And then this one here also using uh, some foam embellishments that I picked up at Dollar Tree, this purple pumpkin. And then this little boo, this glittery boo, is a sticker from Dollar Tree. And then I just took the sticker and adhered it to some cardstock and then cut out around the cardstock to make it pop out. And this is the that special gauze that has the flocking on it that you can pick up at Dollar Tree and I think this is the one that was the lime green color that they got in recently and then I just added a little button to the center of that and then some bling around the edge. I just kind of felt like I needed to do a really simple <clears throat> just a couple of little simple projects this past week nothing too involved since we returned back to school oh about a week and a half ago I'm just I'm still trying to get used to the the fast pace of that so anyway this is the third card that I put together this one has more of a vintage feel and I die cut uh, some cardstock paper with some dies that I had received from AliExpress and there's some washi tape here and a sentiment and some little Tim Holtz snippets glued onto the side and up here is a die an AliExpress die that I cut out of regular black cardstock and then just put a little bit of stickles on the edges of the, the garland and then as well around the edge of the, the skeleton. This one I actually added an, a sentiment on the inside. I'm not sure on the other two cards what I wanna put in there yet, so. But I used uh, the vintage photo to just kinda give it a, a worn weathered look one look and then I did a little bit of that around the edges as well with the vintage photo that's the distress oxide uh, just lightly around the edge it's a little bit hard to see on the card but so those are the cards and then Annette had sent me from Nitty H Creates uh, a little rat random act of kindness and she included this really cute candy wrapper package with a scalloped edge on the top and bottom. And she included some really fun little Halloween embellishments inside. There's a, a witch hat shaker. There's a skeleton, a wooden veneer skeleton, some little pom-poms, different kinds of sequins. There's some witch sequins in there and a couple of other little, this looks like a little chipboard, this October 31, and it's got a little tiny little tassel on the end and some, um, Kind of hard to see but there are some cute little witch die cuts that she included inside the package and i haven't taken them out because this is so pretty i don't really want to un unwrap it to be honest with you um, and then this cute little dangle on the side and i had sent her some of these little skeletons i got a package full of these skeleton head beads at joann's over in the children's bead section of the store and they came in some different colors, orange, lime. Uh, I think there were some pastel colors in there and white and black as well. So she took that and turned that into a really cute little Halloween dangle. So I thought that was kind of fun. 
So she included that in the package, and then she made me some really pretty, sorry for all the, that crinkly noise, these um, bead dangles that she made for Halloween. They're just so cute, and I love the lavender. I'm kind of a fan of Pastelloween. This one says boo. Let's see if I can get that to focus a little bit. A few other ones in there. Grays and pinks. And then some brighter Halloween, traditional Halloween colors. Purple and orangey yellow, black. So this was really fun to come home to home to Wednesday after school. It was in my mailbox along with a few other haul items. So that was uh it was fun to open that up. And then she also included this cute little gift bag tied with some um, some of that Hobby Lobby. Let me show you. This Hobby Lobby sequin thread. A little bit hard to see. I've got some here on a spool. Um, I love this. It's great for putting into embellishments or tying up packages with. It's, it's kind of like a glittery thread and it has tiny sequins that are holographic. Uh, this comes in gold and also silver. So I've got one of each. Sometimes they have these on sale. Um, anyway, so she included that in her ribbon tie. And then this adorable little bow that she made. And it looks like it's wrapped around the center with some of the gold sequin thread. This isn't focusing very well. So very cute. And some little uh, ghosty socks inside. So there's that. Um, I got these this morning actually at Joann's. They were having, I don't know, 50% off their Halloween ribbons. And this has a really pretty soft pink, pinkish purple um, moon and star theme to it. So that'll be fun to use in Pastelloween projects. And then this silver one here. So the, you know, the half price isn't too bad on these. So it was regularly what, $5.99? So I got it for eh, $3 or so. And then I also had a 20% off coupon, so I got a little bit extra off. Every little bit helps, right? Okay, the other thing that I wanted to share, I had purchased a stack of, um, let's see if I can turn the camera over here. I purchased a stack of quarter yard cuts. They're called fat quarters and I'm a sewer and art quilter. I um, got this from Skeleton Key Supply on Etsy, and I fell in love with this when I saw it online. Let me just show you some of the fabrics up close. These are folded up. Here's the first one. Just love these colors. The bright orange. This one has some mustard in it. The purples and the softer purpley pinks will be so much fun to use this fabric and make some gift bags or little fabric coasters to tuck into swaps, um, to make some strips of um, fabric ribbon. You can cut it up and use it as ribbon. Look at this with the pink and orange hats, little witch hats, love that. Here's purple. Oh gosh, this one is adorable. These are 100% cotton. They're very soft. I've had, um, since COVID, a number of quilt shops in my area are gone now. So I'm needing to, if I want new fabrics, I need to oftentimes order them online. This is just so cute. Look at this one. The little witch boots in pink and black. And this background here is a very pale pink on some of the boots and in the cauldron. Just love these. These actually might even look nice with the um, Prima Collection 31. It would coordinate nicely with that. Just a few more. Here's a pink. These are tiny bones on this fabric. And this one with the, with the lavender colored bats and the pink background with stars. Oh, skeletons and moths. How can you not love this? Look at this one, just adorable. So I'm very excited about um, 
using some of these fabrics to make some fun little tuck-ins to put into some of my swaps and and just to give as gifts to friends and colleagues. So that is my news for this week. I hope that you enjoyed my video and maybe found some information that you are you may find useful or some inspiration. I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye for now.